everybody um, making a banjo today uh, I was making this video for a while I got halfway through it decided oh, I'm gonna take a break I come inside I start watching YouTube and uh, the second life of wood the channel um, on YouTube uh, Rav um, posted a uh, challenge for everybody who wanted to take part and I was like the challenge was to go through your scrap bucket or your scraps that you have laying around in your shop and make something cool out of so I was like, dang, I already have the video going, so I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, take the challenge. And um, so this is what I did. This video is a little bit long. I'm sorry, but I'm making a banjo. Come on now. Um, and um, I've been playing with some uh, new sound effects. Very cool. And I have tips and tricks through the whole video. So it is a long video, but you get some cool sound effects and some tips and tricks of, of woodworking and, you know, just life in general. Please watch the video and have a good time. Bye. Okay, um, I've been trying to get an air guitar um, challenge on Facebook to go um, since we're all in social distancing um, and confined, whatever you call it. Anyways, I made this guitar a long time ago. This is this mahogany here is a, a piece of scrap that came off of the um, CNC machine, and just it just looked like a guitar to me. So I so I put um, some. Cut up some, uh, laying down some some maple, and uh, shaped it like this, and and finished it, and uh, adhered it to that, and then I put some golf tees up here to make the uh, the tuner knobs, you know. So I've been having fun on Facebook, making videos, trying to make people laugh, and you know, just kind of forget about the uh, the times we're in right now, just for a second, you know, and and stuff. So I saw a. Uh, uh, video last night on youtube of these guys playing banjos and i was like oh i gotta make a banjo now so i was thinking of how i could make it and i've got all these odds and ends laying around the shop um please don't judge my shop it's i should be in here um organizing and cleaning it today instead of making a video about how to make a air banjo oh it's gonna be awesome so i got i have these sticks here that i i used to um to do the walls in the shop all the way around the shop. I have two more panels to do. I should be doing that right now, right? But no, I'm gonna make an air banjo because that's what I wanna do. So, um, I have odds and ends. I have this right here. I have some uh, other things. Um, I have some black spray paint right there. Two cans of black spray paint. Um, I have, I don't have a table saw though. I, don't, uh, I have a chop saw over there. I have some kills paint right here. Man, I got paint. I got, I, I don't have any, the only power tools I have are the lathe and my miter saw, which should get me by. Um, so I think today I'm going to make a banjo, an air banjo. What do you say? All right, so I'm going to pick this piece of wood here because I've been, I've, I've, I've looked at it already. This one's cupped. So I'm going to have to glue up some stuff to make the back of the banjo. Well, it's been glued up for about two hours. Um, I pulled the uh, the pressure clamp out. Oh, pressure clamp was this called friction clamp? I don't know what they're called. Me smash it in there like I did that, and I pick it up and I just give it a because I'm gonna put this on the lathe and cut a circle out of it, right? So I don't want it to fly apart on my face. So I get a little, I give it a little torque, a little tweak, and so I'll boink. Ah, oh, this is what it is. So now I'm gonna have to take. I'm gonna have to take this. Uh, 2 by 12 which you know it's not really a 2 by 12 and yeah. I'm just gonna cut this stick this on the lathe cut it uh, 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 cut a uh, uh, circle out of it it's gonna be thicker for the back and yeah, I'll, I'll thin it out a little bit you'll see we'll see well I'm just gonna play it by ear and, and see how it works so I guess I'm gonna do that now well, let me get this cut up and put on the lathe
Okay, I got the back. This is the. This will be the back. A little, a little. Uh, you know, because I'm gonna be strumming this thing so hard, it's gonna be wiggling around. I need something to grip on to me, because I'm gonna. Ding 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 ding. Can't wait to play you a song. All right, well that's what this is for. It's for the grip of the belly, so it doesn't slide around too much. See, it's already sticking. All right. Okay, well, I've had my um, other air guitar for about, oh, probably three years now, and I have eh, enjoyed it, and it's been fun. Um, last night, you know, being in this, um, being in this stay-at-home uh, social distancing thing, I um, was watching the YouTubes, as usual. I watch all kinds of YouTube things. So, um... I came across this band that does cover songs of, of metal. There's like a hillbilly band. What's the name of them? What's the name of them? I'll put it right here when when I add it to this thing. They're they're awesome. They do Metallica. They do Guns N' Roses. They do all kinds of stuff. But they don't ding 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 with the you know, stand up bass and the banjo and the mandolin. All that's like oh, I'm gonna make a banjo last night. My Hogan's like oh my gosh. I'm like sorry. I'll be in the shop all day tomorrow. So this is my back. Um, board here the back of the banjo um, It's supposed to be a little bit bigger, but that's what I have. This is all I have laying around the shop I don't have the tools of Texas trophies behind my back right now So I'm kind of struggling the other part didn't glue up right so I moved to this which I think is gonna be a better uh, Body for the banjo. It's already cool. So uh, I'm gonna um, you, I have this two by two by three Whatever it is. So it's actually one by whatever a one one and a half by two and a half or something like that or two anyways that's what i use to put these walls up with um so i'm gonna um cut a dado into here by hand because i don't have any i don't have any uh power tools so i'm just gonna do that with that and then um, I'll chisel it out and uh, make it as pretty as i can and then i'm gonna shape this down i'm gonna cut this down and and chisel it you know it's that thick i don't need my I don't need my uh, neck to be that that thick, so I'm gonna carve it out by hand. It's gonna take a while, but hey, hey, folks, you know, I don't have anything else to do today, so this is what I'm doing, keeping myself occupied while I'm not being out there with those crazy people that are, are refuse to sit down. Just sit down for a while, people. Let's just take a break. All right, so um, I'm gonna draw this out. Uh, what I did was I got up, I looked at the TV and the, at the guy's banjo, and I said, well, it's from here on his belly to. About right there on his leg, so I measured from there to there on me, and it was 13 inches. So this one right here, I, and I kind of cut on it too, so I was I'm trying to get 11 out of it. Yeah, so I got 11 inches. This is a representation of a banjo. It's an air banjo, man. Who's heard of an air guitar? I have. If you ever heard of an air banjo, might be the first one. You might be seeing history right now. So uh, I, I saw that was okay two, uh, 12 13 inches there. So that's 13 inches So then I, I looked at it and I was like one Two on his ba uh, Banjo on the TV. So that's about 26 inches. So I'll make this one, you know 20. I'm gonna make this 24 inches uh, Coming out so it's gonna be 24 and whatever that is so I can get the, the neck in there to attach to it I got my uh, spot cut out where I'm gonna break out the chisel and start uh, chiseling away Whew. So I'm going to chisel it down to a three-quarter inch. That's, uh, let me see how far that, how long this thing is here. This is eight inches by three-quarter inch. Now, if you think I'm going to get that perfectly flat, yeah, right. All right, this is gonna take all day long, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna clamp this to the the, the lathe so I, I can get some leverage on it and uh, work, work, work. You know what I mean? Work, work, work. So I'll get back to you. Don't do that at home, people. This that was um, very stupid on my part. I shouldn't. Have, and I apologize for everybody who's uh, sensitive to blood. I'm sensitive to blood, and I shouldn't. You know, be telling you about that, but you know, just be careful. Don't don't do what I do. I, I've never said I was the safest guy in the world. In fact, I'm the opposite of it. And once I get a thing in my head, I want to get it done now. So I messed up. 
and I, you shouldn't do that. All right, well, I'm gonna get to this and um, I'll get back to you when it's done. It's gonna be a lot of work. Okay, so we have this dado right here. I'm gonna show you where I messed up because I measured it, but I didn't check it and I just cut the dado out, so I'm gonna have to repair it. But it's gonna be, hopefully it's, it's seamless. So I cut this out to fit in here, like so, and I have these big gaps, this big gap over here, so I'm gonna have to, uh, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, let me see if I put this here like this. You see there's a gap right there and if I and if, if I pull it all the way one side then that's the whole gap so I'm just gonna add some some wood to this and uh, Just fix it. It's just for fun. This thing doesn't even play <laughs> It's just gonna be there. So then uh, So I cut that out for there. Let me see how this fits. That's what I wanted to see how this fits and then I, I'm looking at it so that fits uh, fits decently I'm gonna put some CA right there, fix that real quick. It fits decently, I could fit it a little bit better. It's the back side, no one's gonna really care about that. All right, save that part. But I think this is gonna be good. So I did a little drawing on it last night. Mahogan and I were watching some TVs and I was just sitting there watching TV. It was rainy outside, it was cold in the shop, cold and damp air, and I hate that. So I was like, oh, I'll, just, I'll stay inside. So, um, I went ahead and drew this, I, I brought this in, I'm sitting at the coffee table figuring this out. So I drew this in, drew that. This is where, if you can see the, it's gonna scoop down like this, and I'm gonna thin it out that much right there, and then this is where the, the head of the, the neck, the neck. Well, I don't know what that part is with the thing. I'm not a musician, people, I'm just, I just like to have fun. So, but the, the head is right here with the, with the uh, 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 tuning knobs up here, you know, so that's, that's what this is gonna be, that's that shape. So I'm gonna start working on that next. Oh, but what I wanted to do was see how much I have from here to here. That's that right there. There's, um, so this is gonna be, so I'm thinking maybe I cut off like two inches up here, plus the head, because I want it to be in proportion. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. But I'm gonna save my little, I'm gonna save my little chunk there so I can see I'm going to have to draw that on a piece of cardboard and draw it there and then there and that way I can see it. Yeah, no problems over here, all right? All right, cool. I'm going to do that real quick. Basically, there's the neck of the banjo fretboard, which I'm not going to put any frets on there because it'll stop my, my uh, air guitar finger action from sliding smoothly and, and yeah, whatever. Okay, so um, there's I, I, I cut with a saw like this, and I got my chisel, and I chiseled it out, popped it out, and I chiseled that flat-ish. And so I got a little overzealous with that. Um, there, but I see glued some some filler sticks that were You know chunks that that came off here. I split them and just glued those in this this thing's gonna be painted black So I don't hopefully hopefully this will be uh, covered uh, You probably won't see it anyway, so I have a little bit more sanding uh, Just uh, I, I just roughly sanded it just to get it clean and I'm kind of tired So I'm gonna go inside now, but that's basically it and tomorrow I'm going to make the top piece of the, I'm going to make this top piece here for with the uh, 
uh, what do you call it, uh, the tuning knobs go in here, the decorative little piece there, and then I'm going to make the, um, the top circle of the banjo up here. And I got to figure out how I'm going to make the little things that connect it to the bottom. This is actually going to connect it with screws, so that's going to be connected, but the, the, I'll show you a banjo, hold on. So I think the next step I need to do is make the, I don't know what they call it, the head of the guitar or the, the banjo that goes up here. Uh, here's a picture. Okay, so that's the picture. That thing up on top where the, the, uh, the tuning knobs go back here. And then there's, I didn't realize that there was another tuning knob up here until I actually looked at a banjo. <laughs> oh man. So there's a tuner knob that goes here. So these strings, it's crazy. There's strings come up here like this and then there's two strings. I think I didn't, I really look at picture really closely but and then there, there's two shorter ones or short ones here so that's pretty cool I uh, didn't realize that was like that so uh, I got to make this uh, head here so I, I got me a I got me a piece of mahogany scrap mahogany and I got this thing here piece of paper and I'm not sure how how tall it should be so I'm gonna cut I'm gonna fold this in half and I really like that that banjo whatever it is, top head, uh, adjuster thingy, Bobby. I'm not a musician. I'm a maker I and mean, I'm making stuff. Maybe I should just make it, I was gonna make it out on a fence post, but I'm not using, even using the, the fence pick anymore. Maybe I'll make it out of this mahogany. And uh, yeah, that's a nice piece of mahogany I could use. It's just a chunk that I found. Rav said, any scrap wood you have, and I just found this to draw on it, so just because this is bumpy so I think I'm gonna use this mahogany instead of instead of uh, the other wood that'll be cool and then you take this number here and you put it right here with your number two pencil number two for school stay in school people stay in school Oh, sheesh, I can barely see it. Okay, I can still see it. All right, well, that's basically how you do that little transfer deal. If you didn't know how to do that, hope you learned something today. There you go, boom, see it? Now I'm gonna cut that out. Cut it out, man, cut it out. And, and after all that cutting with the, 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 the saw, and I found this in my shop. I forgot I had it. That's going to make things a little easier now. And saw cutting stuff. I'm glad I found this thing. Now I'm ready to get to work. Alright, watch this. Okay, well, here it is. Um, I uh, messed up this, this one and it was way too small, as you can see. And then that jigsaw was cutting all crooked and silly and I was like man I wish I just had a bandsaw it sounds like these that you realize um, that you know if, the, if if I was doing this uh, and I could go to work I would just do it and I'll take it to work cut it out boom 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 done right but you don't even want to know what I did to that jigsaw to make it a bandsaw it's just you know, don't just don't do that at home. Don't because it was scary. But I got a better cut, straighter cut. Uh, it's not perfect. It's not symmetrical, you know. But it's, 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 it's just what it is. It's, it's a air banjo. So um, I'm sanding the edges out right now and uh, stuff like that. Um, I've been working on the the banjo um, off camera. It's, this video is getting longer. And longer but it, hey I never made a banjo before so here we go so Rav said to use any scraps that you have this is a scrap uh, piece of uh, ingrain cutting board that I had and I was gonna turn bowls out of them if you go back to my video wood turning a uh, 
end grain cutting board, you'll see it blew up on me. It shattered in seven pieces. I'm going to put that in another video, put it all back together, kind of, in resin so it's all fractured out. Anyways, this is one of those blanks. and So this one I'm not going to try to, to um, uh, cut the bowl out of it, so it'll be better. It'll stay intact more, and I'm not worried about it um, breaking. So I'm gonna plane this down, or plane. I'm gonna put it on the lathe and cut it down to about three quarters of an inch, and that'll be the that'll be the top of my uh, banjo body. It'll go that'll go on top of that right there. So I'm gonna put this on the lathe and cut it. Okay, second coat of uh, sanding sealer. I have my really fine steel wool. I'm gonna turn the lathe on and just buff out the the ridges and the um, the ridges of the uh, sanding sealer. Grab your uh, shavings. And let it shine. Ooh, doggy. It's very shiny. Okay, well this will be the only piece on the banjo that's not that doesn't have lacquer on it. I'm gonna test this finish, uh playing around and strummer and you know, touching it and stuff and see how it lasts. But I think it's gonna be pretty durable. Well, I just uh drilled holes in the back to hold the uh the uh the neck on the uh banjo. And I've been looking at this thing in pieces this whole time, and it's just now coming together just that far. I still have more work to do, but man, it's just like, oh, okay, there's my banjo. Oh, this is awesome. So uh, I got this attached. Uh, there's my filler um, things that I, I patched. It didn't go all the way back because it doesn't need to be. No one's going to see that. So um, the next part is to figure out where this goes on it. And uh, whatnot, so it's probably gonna go that way. So that's the next step for that. Center it, find it, pull this off, and then attach it from the back so that it all comes apart. Anyways, who's the banjo, banjo, banjo? All right, um, I'm gonna show you a trick right now. Tips and tricks of uh, woodworking. Sometimes you need to cheat. First thing you wanna do is find your center. I just did that so you didn't have to see me measuring back and forth with this thing so I found my center pretty center um, and then you want to um, kind of mark it where you want it so I want this edge to be right here I don't have anything that square should work right there and then this pencil right here is gonna tell me this is where this needs to be right here on on this neck right here and I can sand that off there in a minute um, it's all gonna come apart anyway so then what you want to do is don't bump that because it's centered and then what you want to do is get yourself some double sticky tape. This is a uh, tape from the trophy industry. It's really good. It's stout. Um, when you put it on, you better put it on straight. I'm going to be able to break it off. Okay, let's see. I'm going to pull this off right here like that, real gentle like this. And I'm going to put this right here like that. One's probably good. Uh, I'll put another small one on there too just to make sure. Like so, and then you take this here, and you peel this off right there, and you take this off right here, like that, and then you align this where you want it, back on there, very careful like so, and that goes right there, I like it, it looks good. That's gonna be right there I hope it works because you know bumpy surfaces it may not work that good because of the like that push it and it's on there it's on there good enough to where I can pull this apart put my holes in it and uh, figure that out okay get some tape people it helps a first part that's getting painted is the neck of the Banjo, finally, paint. This has been going on for a week, but uh, it's been, it's been, uh, what do you call it? Uh, busy. 
So this right here is engine enamel that um, I had left over from, you know, building a, or redoing an engine for that old truck I have. And uh, so this is, this is spray paint, but it's, it's enamel paint. So um, I'm hoping that it dries a little different than just regular black spray paint. Because black spray paint, uh, especially in humid weather, like here in San Antonio, almost 80% humidity, horrible. But hey, it's home, right? I love the heat more than I love the cold. Anyways, uh, spray paint stays tacky for a long time. You think it's dry and then you have fingerprints in it. And it never really dries. It, really, it does dry, but it takes forever. So hopefully this engine enamel just dries quick. And that's all I have, really, is this stuff here. So I don't really spray paint a lot of stuff. Anyways, first, first piece, first coat. And I'm going to start working on the next part. All right, there it is. Ooh, shiny. And then I'm going to put lacquer on top of all this, too. Okay, I got some spray lacquer here, and I'm going to... Put the first coat on. Um, sometimes uh, when it's humid like this, lacquer will turn white on you. I don't know about this rattle cam lacquer. The lacquer at, that we mix up at work, it will um, quickly. So, but it's, you know, it is what it is. You just spray it, it turns white. You either wait for the next day or you turn the air conditioner on the spray booth. I don't have a air conditioner out here so anyways it's really easy fix you just either buff it with you just buff it with some steel wool which it, uh, you know all the stuff that I have right now has been buffed with steel wool between coats of black paint there's two coats of black paint on this uh, this is uh, mahogany here and it's um, has sanding sealer on it we'll see what happens Give this a coat in the back. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna let this dry up for about an hour, and then uh, buff it again with some steel wool, and give it one more coat. Let this sit overnight, and then tomorrow is final assembly. Ooh, doggy! I can't wait. Oh, I forgot to make the little things for the thing. I guess my work's not over yet. I gotta make the tuning knobs. Okay. All right, well, a little bit more work to do. I'm going to be done. It's final assembly time. Finally, the final assemble time. So I got my the neck to my banjo, and I got my face piece, or my, I don't even know what they call this thing. Anyways, that's going to go like this. So I need to assemble this like so. And I need to find that. There they are, okay. These go to here, like this. Put this one here, like so. Like that. Oh, jeez. Jeez Louise. Okay, and that one's there. I believe that one's here. Screw in there like so. Okay, that's that. That's attached to that, right? Can you see the banjo yet? Hold on, let me put this one on there now. Bam. So this is gonna go here like so. And it's not the traditional banjo colors, but this is my banjo. And that's what I'm making, so if you don't like it, go talk to the Banjo Makers of uh, Association of, of America and tell them, this guy didn't make his banjo the right colors. All right. So I put that like that. And I drilled these two holes, didn't want to, but that's the only way I could do it with, you know, all that stuff. So that's going to go there. And this is going to go here, like that, that's that one, 
That's that one. Okay, so I got that part right there. Now I am not, do not look at this like I am a banjo player. I am not a banjo player. So then I have my neck here, or my, this piece here, and I ran out of screws. I forgot about these. Let me go get them. So I'm going to take this here. Let me do this first. Turn my banjo over like so, you see? And put my screws in here first. Like that, that way I can line them up with the holes. Can you see that? That right there. And I'm gonna take this here. Okay, let's see. Like that. Take this here, put my head on there, or whatever you call that. Hold this like so. So now we have that on there. Shazam! What the heck? Now look, I, I didn't make these things here. I mean, I made these things for sure, but I made these uh, tuning knobs off camera because I'm just, this video is already long enough. And, um, you know, th these were a little tedious and time consuming. So they're not perfect, but it's an air banjo. Come on now. This one's going to be for this piece. I have four of them here. I'm going to um, turn this back over like so. And I'm going to use um, hot glue to put them in this hole, in these holes. Because the last, that air guitar I made in the beginning of the video, I put, um, I put a, a tight bond and the cats knocked it over and broke my golf tees out. So... I just that's it it's done so because the tight bond isn't gonna come out you know so but with this I can put it uh, a, 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 a hair dryer on the other side and blow dry it until it until it uh, comes loose so that's the plan for that oh there's a little bit of glue coming out don't do this with your fingers people it hurts hi 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 whoo but to save the project whoo I burn my fingers. Don't do this at home, it hurts. Okay, that's that one, and this one's going in here like this. Bam. So there's those. I'll clean that up after the video. That's that one right there, and then there's one more that goes here. Oh, geez, the door. So one more right here for this tuner knob here. Can't tell you that the stuff, so here you go. This one's going right. Oh, it's a little tight. Oh, there it is. Cool. Bam. Done. My banjo is complete. I will put up um, still videos. I mean, yeah, still shots of this. And that's, there it is. Uh, I'll take pictures of it. All right. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscri subscribe, and share. I know this isn't a wood turning video and all that stuff, but... You know, sometimes creative people need to make stuff, and this is what I needed to do. So, um, have a good time. Stay safe. Please be healthy. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Bye.